Good morning. So this is posted up next to my bed and you can post it up to next to your child's bed and you can make it a, a you know, a tradition. Obviously you come in, say good morning in the morning. Well, here's something they can say good morning to you or good night. Um, I posted mine on a lamp because that was the best way to visually see it, but you might be able to post it on a bedside table or on the wall next to the bed or even above the head of the bed. I also um, posted a, a communication board and it's on my closet and you can um, really talk with your child. Um, let's see. Oh, where are we going today? Let's get dressed and find out. Um, let's see. Um, uh, do you, do you want to wear this? No, I want to wear something different, different than that. Or, um, I want the next the next outfit, not that one, or I don't like that outfit. I don't like that shirt. Um, and you, they can say, I want the pink shirt. Um, if you give them choices, let's put it on. Um, there are really a lot of things to say. Um, let's get dressed so then we can go play. Um, so, uh, so that we can play, so you can build language with it. And really, it's it's pretty free-flowing, free um, so you got to get used to it, and that's okay if um, it feels odd at first. Just using one icon at a time is perfectly fine. Again, this is... I always say that communication is a marathon, not a sprint. So even if you just learn one new, where one new icon is a day, that's fine. Um, or if you just find one icon and you just use it over and over and over again, perfect. Um, that's a really the point of core communication is learning those specific uh, vocabulary words like go, we're going to the bathroom, we're going to the park, we're going to grandma's, we're going to stay inside. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, I am signing off for now.